Hello and welcome to Top Echelon Network Training. In this training, we are going to add a candidate to the Split Candidate Database. Three things to remember when adding a candidate to the Split Database. Number one, only submit placeable candidates to the network. Anything else is a waste of everyone's time and money. Number two, it is your job to close out any of your Top Echelon Network candidates that are no longer viable. Number three, get permission from the candidate by any form of communication that you are sharing their resume to the Top Echelon Network. This will ensure a better experience for any of your TE partners when they call the candidate, for the candidate themselves, and your reputation of having good quality information will stay intact. Now, let's add the candidate. If you are not a Big Biller user, you will simply go to the Split Candidates tab and select the option to add. If you are a Big Biller user, you can go to the Split Candidates tab and do it this way. Or you can go to the, the People tab and select Add from there. Either of these options will get you to the same place and you will accomplish the same basic task. Now that we are in Add a Candidate part of the system, let's go get the resume of the candidate we want to upload. In order to do this, we click the Browse button over here on the left and it will take us to our hard drive where we can search out the resume of the candidate that we want. Simply double click it and now the resume has loaded on the left. Now we click the orange parse button and the information will be brought over by the parse tool and as you can see it does bring over quite a bit of information. At this point it is up to us to properly code the candidate with the required fields. If we scroll down to the very bottom of the page we'll see the advertise this candidate to the top echelon network split candidate database. The fields that are required by the top echelon network are now colored orange so they are set apart from the others. These fields are years of experience, position title, minimum salary, industries and disciplines, and general comments. All of these fields will make searching of your top echelon network partners to find your candidates much more accurate. Once you have updated this information, we can go to the top and see our options. We can hit save, which will obviously save this person to the top echelon network. Check Duplicate Candidates, which will let you see if this person is already in your Big Builder database. Check Duplicate People. This will allow you to see if anyone else in the network has shared this candidate to the split database. And of course, Cancel will, will cancel the options here. Let's hit Save. Once we have hit Save and submitted the candidate to the Top Echelon Network, we will take a look at what happened in the system as far as the candidate's record and their information in the split database. On the candidate's RDS, if you're a Big Biller user, you will see the Top Echelon logo over beside the name. This is telling us that the candidate is shared to the network. If we scroll down to Advertising Information, we will see the icon here as well, along with the purge date. On the TEN menu, we will go to the Recent Candidates section and see our, see our candidate as they have been advertised to the Top Echelon Network. Now the rest of the membership can find them in their searches and alerts. When the time comes to remove the candidate from the TE Split database, go to the Split Candidates page. And then on the left we see the Manage My Advertised Candidates. In this section we will be able to simply select Remove or when the time comes to resubmit the candidate information. We hit select the option, hit Update, and our changes have been made. Don't forget that if you have any questions for in the software, simply go up to the Help Center and type in your question or the word or the keyword of what, you're, what you need help with and there will be video or text document options to assist your, assist your needs.